The sounds and smells of Dunwall never change much. This is my city. What training regimen does father have? All right, Majesty. Let's see what you can do. If I'll be going fast enough, I can slide beneath that. Spend every day running and jumping. Now let's see how quick my feet are. Come to me. You've learned well. Let's see how quiet you are, young lady. with a chokehold, that's one more person who gets to wake up and go home. That's my girl. Don't let me hear you or see you. Crouch down and approach from behind. Didn't see anything at all. Most people won't notice you if you're above them, overhead. In the words of Corvo Atano, hidden like a secret, quiet as the sunset. some more weapons and combat training. Let's beat each other up, shall we? That's my daughter. When someone swings a sword at you, block. Block with your blade. Good. Well done. got a natural instinct for fighting. If you time your block right, you'll throw an enemy off balance. You're quick. Smart move. That'd stop even the most black-hearted killer. You can choke an enemy out, even in combat.
their off balance deliver a fatal blow. I feel better knowing you can take care of yourself. When trouble does finally come, you're ready to fight. Why do we celebrate the anniversary of an assassination? Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall, a paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world, or to have everyone around me executed. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Your signet ring. There. You're ready. Thank you, Alexei. Open the doors. All hail Her Imperial Majesty, Emily Caldwin. Loyal subjects. We're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through the ages. Emily. You look tired, Father. Every year, I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble-rousers, and we'll catch the Crown Killer, eventually. People are saying it's you, that these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No, someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage. The ceremony will be over soon. Royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. Majesty, before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor, the Duke of Sirkonos. Ramsay says the Duke is bringing special gifts. That's intriguing. His Grace Luca Abel, Duke of Sirkonos! Mechanical soldiers? Amazing. What is this, Ramsay? I didn't authorize those things. Your Imperial Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano, a native of our homeland, Sirkonus offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation, the rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks, for now I give you the greatest gift of all, family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin, your rightful Empress. Delilah Caldwin. Impossible. My mother had a sister? My dearest niece. Hello. It's not true. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. But now I'm home. If you really are my mother's sister, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. 
Little Sparrow, blackened by bad memories, I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. Watch your tongue. Emily Caldwin is the daughter of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Royal Protector, how naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's over. Hear me, all of you. Your rightful Empress has returned. All hail the Empress Delilah, first of her name. Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for the Crown Killer murder. What? Lock him in the Empress's chambers, and then I'll bring him to Coldridge Prison <laughs> until his trial. My father lost it all. Sent me to the city watch, one step above begging. Think I had to take your orders? Corfo Itano, son of a Zirconan tradesman. Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Lord Corvo, what happened? That'll be all, Captain Mayhew. Oh, now that's the Royal Protector's fancy weapon. What kind of sword folds in hand? There's a legend in the City Watch, the Empress's last resort, the safe room inside your daughter's chambers is holding enough gold to buy an island. And they say this is one of the only two keys. What? What happened? Alexei, the throne room, Emily. should just spin it. Pick a place to lick my wounds. I've got to regroup. You'd be smart to remember that. <clears throat> I'm hungry. These bastards are working with Ramsay and the Duke of Circonos. has a way of turning sour just as soon as you get comfortable.
Lila took away the mark of the outsider. No more sorcery. Lord Protector, but I can't believe Ramsay's a traitor. Uh, is Lady Emily all There's right? There's a coup underway. Emily is... she's imprisoned, for lack of a better word. You've got to get out of the tower. Maybe through Emily's safe room. There was a captain earlier today, down at the docks, looking for you. Get away, and help Emily. I'm sorry, Captain Mayhew. Goodbye. safe room. Ramsey has it. Loyal dogs. Jessamine had me drag one of these out to the lake for our picnic once. Time's long gone now. With the throne room blocked off, we should have the time we need. Just stay here and stall anyone who comes by. I'll be back when I've searched the royal chambers. Assuming I don't accidentally lock myself in this damn safe room. We'll cover for you if anyone from the Duke's party returns. <sighs> this is exciting. Everything's changing. Yes, the natural order is reasserting itself. The Ramses once hosted the king and queen of Morley, did you know that? I spent my childhood playing with the buntings and the boils, the cream of society. And very soon you'll be back at the top, Captain. Ramsey's family fell from the aristocracy, and apparently the man holds a grudge. How it's anyone else's fault, that's beyond me. But one way or another, Ramsey is too dangerous to be left in play. Put in a request for new boots, and what did I get? The sock. One useless hmm. sock. Nothing. 
nothing will stop me from bringing you home, Emily. Retirement, Captain. Anton Sokolov made this lock. Emily would fall asleep in here after the plague. I suspect the Crown Killer is connected to Delilah's coup. Out into the world once more. How many people had forgotten this mask? Reserves won't help against Delilah, even if I had a way to carry it all out of here. This could be handy. Until I understand this, I have to go into hiding. I should make my way to the docks. Gotta get out of Dunwall. What do I have to do to get Emily back? What do I have to become? Traitorous dog. I need to find a ship. 
Listen up, I have The city news. is crawling with the Duke's men. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Corvo Atano has apparently fled the tower. We've got to find him. That's it. You've got your orders. Spread out and find the fugitive. We're in this with the Duke of Circano. Sink or swim. There's no way to turn back now. Attention Dunwall citizens. As of today, Delilah Baldwin is our new empress. All hail Delilah, first of her name. Corvo Atano is now wanted for treason. Any of you found harboring the royal protector will be fined and arrested. People of Dunwall, stay in your homes. You're advised to stay indoors during this time of What's unrest. Going on? If I have two, and I give him one, I still got to one. One night in a white house, one night, and I'm covered in shankers. Former, I mean. What? Someone! Oh, I don't want to 
Hold this rack! That, that's not right! Road is blocked by order of the city watch. Locked? I don't know that, ship, but maybe the captain can help. That's it for my shop. The entire month will be ruined. Trust me, you don't want to be out on the streets right now. Move along. People of Dunwall, aiding a fugitive is now punishable by death. Aid the city watch in this time of transition. I'll, I'll, I'll search with you. Damn you! First, the shortage of whale oil. It's all about to change. The city watch has its hands full of what's been happening. That crown killer lunatic and all. Whatever the royals Leave like. it to the Hatter gang to try to profit from the chaos of this coup. Like a got that. Looky, a visitor to Hatter territory.
no. this wall. Could have got you another know. one. Why can't I wear my regular clothes? In the next one, I'll prove you wrong. Gotta get a spare uniform. Quiet. Lord Protector, forgive me for saying it, but you look like death warmed over. It's been an unusual day. There's a coup underway and I'm being blamed for the Crown Killer murders. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours, Anton Sokolov. We learned something scary down in the south, and I came to warn you. I know, Anton. The Duke's here with a woman named Delilah who's seized the throne. They... Have Emily and I barely got out. For now, I have to get away, recover my footing. Bad things always seem to happen in Dunwall. Feels like the end of the world. I need to get to Karnaka, where the Crown Killer murders started. Delilah must have been down there for a while, and I've got to figure out what's going on. The dreadful whale will get you there. Should we go? somehow. I remember this endless cold. Where are you? You might as well show yourself. Corvo, old friend. Do I even have to say it? You've lost another Empress. I gave you my mark for a reason. I wanted to know what happens when you take an honorable man's life away. When you push his face down in the mud. What will he do, given the chance? 
And what a sight it was. You gave yourself over to blood and terror. Gave it everything you had. Then you spent 15 years making sure it wouldn't happen again. But now it has. And this time, you know where it leads. Will you do it all again? Where is that good man now? I felt this so long ago. The void, it was still there all along. Never thought I'd be here again. Feels as good as I remember. Now I'm going to save my daughter and win back her throne. echoes of your voice. That's enough. Only the last of my essence with you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand. I will guide you when I can. Who is Delilah, really? Jessamine's sister, bearing the outsider's mark. Delilah slid a man's throat for a pair of shoes and painted some of the most brilliant portraits of the age all in the same year. Survival and ambition, art and magic, with a cunning that makes sycophants of those around her. All of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game, and now she's an empress. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. Just when you think you've got it all figured out, just as you're starting to relax, you look up and there are wolves at the gate. Wolves with red muzzles, hungry for your insides. Everything has turned to shit. Last time I saw Karnaka, I was just 18, boarding a ship bound for Dunwall. It was dawn and I'd been up all night dancing, three sheets to the wind. I was puffed up with the old Duke's favor. And I thought I was the greatest swordsman the Isles had ever known. In the 36 years since, I've buried countless enemies. Most deserved what they got, but I wonder if that even matters. I've stopped dozens of assassins, but the one who got through eats at my dreams. Who'd have thought I'd come home to Karnaka, the most wanted man in the Empire, following the trail of a monstrous killer? Who'd have thought I'd be on the run again, only to wade through another river of blood?
Sharpen. You're up. When you're ready to talk, I'll tell you what I know. <laughs> 